So sitting on the wall is a brilliant, brilliant exercise. Um, it is also great to do throughout your day. It's an easy one. If you're in pain, it's probably one of the first exercises that you should go to. And if you ever have your body get irritated with any of the sink-in sessions, if you, you know, after you've been on the strip, it's a wonderful, wonderful exercise to get off and finish with. Um, sitting on the wall helps to counter act all the hours that we sit. When we sit at a desk, our awareness all goes into our upper bodies and we're all up here. Um, they say in this day and age, we're all becoming heads and hands. That's where our awareness is going. Even on phones, we're all here. So literally our brain is going to sleep to the lower half of our body. So when you sit on the wall, it's a fast, quick, easy way of getting that center of gravity down and waking up the lower half of your body. Um, so it's a brilliant one. You really cannot overdo sitting on the wall. You could do it five to 10 times a day. Um, it also increases oxygen flow in the body. It's great for headaches, neck pain, middle back pain, lower back pain. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful exercise. So I can't stress it enough how, how important this one is. First of all, find a wall and make sure you have shoes that will not slide. Because if you've got shoes that you're feeling unstable in, it's not gonna be that much fun. Then you wanna walk your feet out far enough away from the wall that your knee does not go over your ankle. If your knee goes over your ankle, you're gonna end up with sore knees, which is not gonna be fun. So, um, so feet out, knees bent, and you can go down to 60 degrees. If you're really sore, you can actually even just go down, even, even um, just barely off, you know, off straight. You can also go down to 90 degrees. It depends on how much um, tension you really wanna put into this. Once you're sitting and you're in the position, you wanna put your hands on your thighs, you want to tweak your knees in towards one another, okay? And you can see as you do that, it actually helps to tighten your pelvis, and that's your core. Most of us hang on our pelvis. And so when you tweak those knees in, it just brings your pelvis into better alignment. Once your knees are in, you want to gently push through your heels. And once you've got that in place, you want to try and keep that intact through the whole exercise. You want to think to yourself, soft neck, soft elbows, soft knees, soft feet. Go back to your knees again, tweak them in again, push your weight through your heels again. Think soft neck, soft elbows, soft knees, soft feet. And you keep going through that process and the exercise you really want to do for about um, two minutes. And again, when you're finished with this, walk away. And when you walk away, you feel the lightness in your body because now you're using your legs and your bum, which are meant to walk up with us instead of our upper bodies, which is where most of us walk. Um, as we get older, most of us end up walking in our upper backs, and you can see it. Um, I always notice people moving as they get older, and they are stuck up in their heads. And you, yeah, it's just not a fun place to be, but it comes from living in our heads a lot and the work that we do and the sitting, the, the amount of sitting that we do. So the sitting on the wall is probably one of the fastest, quickest ways of getting down. Um, also without getting on the floor. If you can't get on the floor, this is the exercise for you. So when you come off the wall, you want to walk away, you want to feel that lightness, and you want to realize you've been breathing, connecting, and energizing.